Hello everyone, bonjour, Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to visit a Salvation Army thrift store in the central Ottawa, Ontario. And uh, I hope to get some great stuff. It is a couple of days before New Year's as I'm filming this. So let's go see what people uh, brought over as a donation in between Christmas and New Year's. Let's go in and check that out. Allons-y. Yeah, they've changed the plane the layout a little bit. So when we come in now, we have color-coded item. I love this. However, no, it's not the greatest quality. And then there's this here, which is interesting. There's a lot of damage though, right here. Too bad. It is Japan. I'll check a little bit more. Oh, it's a little mirror jewelry box here. I picked up one recently with an owl on it. Um, hmm. I don't think this is. Yeah, it's not as vintage as I thought it would be. This is nice. However, oh, lots of chipping, so leave that behind. Now well, this is nice as well, definitely vintage. However, uh, the price point at $9.99 is way above what I'm willing to pay. What else is in there? Oh, that's so cute. Wait. No. Now the goal on this is fantastic. It's intact. I don't know what this is, but my gosh, that's a lovely plate. There's some scuffle there. Is that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. What is this? Is it? Um, I think. Gosh. Yeah, I don't think that comes off for some reason. It's like a bad scratch, and that's too bad. I really, really like this plate. That's a nice decanter here. The stopper is missing, though. What about this one here? Ooh, $14.99. I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, that's too bad. It's a cute little look, look at all the damage here. I liked it. That's cute. Oh, only one in there. Oh, it doesn't seem to be fitting properly. What's here? Little ladybug. Is that? That's a mug, but it's a hockey glove. Wow. Okay. This nice jewelry box here. Let's take a look. Whoops. Let's not make a big mess here. Ooh. Okay. I would think she's supposed to go in here. Turn. Let's try if the see if the music. Um, there's no key. But let's just see if the music will play a little louder. It does 
Saint Japan. Oh. It's over wine. And I don't know how to fix that. I know some people do. And there is some chipping on the enamel, so oh, that's too bad. Oh well. Oh, that light. Gosh. There's a home projects here. Okay, we'll move on to another aisle. Okay, now greens and blues. Browns at the end. It's a little owl candle, however, shipping candles. Even though it's cold here, you never know if it has to ship somewhere very warm. Might end up being quite melted when it gets there. And I picked up some green ones at Mission uh, last week, like these. That would have been nice for 99 has kind of an iridescent blue purplish. I wish there was two of those. But doesn't seem like it. Here's a wooden rhinoceros. I don't know if this is really vintage or not, but it is nice. I've had success um, selling some wooden sculptures, so I'm kind of. This is actually pretty nice condition. Just a little bit of mineral oil would uh, spruce it up a little, I think. So, how about the feet? Uh, that's a broken, that's a broken foot right there. So, well, well, you're staying there. Well, what's the butt situation going on here? So, seems to be a skier that went right through the, the mug. <laughs> That's funny. Souvenir piece from Ville de Québec, Canada. Mm -hmm. And then I have a little planter here, but it's most likely a hobbyist piece. Is that soap stone? Seawood Enterprise, Edmonton, Alberta. Oh, 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 I see a little planter here. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Looks to be vintage. Japan, yes it is. How sweet is this? Everything, the paint. There's no chipping. I'm going to pick this up, I think. We have our first item. Now this is also interesting. Looks to be vintage as well. Japan, yes. And then the pump. And it goes back up this pressure, yeah. I think, well, how much is that? Of course, there's no price on it. It needs a good cleaning, but I think I can manage that, so we'll pick that up as well. Okay, we have a lot of clear glass here. I see right away a pinwheel. Uh, very heavy decanter, but the stopper is missing. So we'll leave that behind, and besides they want $20. This is not silver. This is glass that's been flash. What is very interesting is these glasses here. I do believe they are Libby's. At 99 cents each. Very, very... Um, yep, very nice condition. So I'm going to pick those two. Pick those two up. Are there more? Let's find more. <laughs> those there. This is very cheaply made. What else is good here? This little box here. Hmm. I feel like there's a lid missing here. What else do we have? That's another little pinwheel trinket dish. 
Hmm, again, I feel there should be a lid there. Ooh, what is this? Um, I don't think this is crystal. I think it's glass, but... Hmm, that's quite interesting, actually. Ah! Let's take a look at this closely. I really like it. It's in very nice condition, too. Let's, um, let's do a Google Lens on this. So I did a Google Lens search and um, it's showing up as selling at around $25. Now, there's no price on it. Um, it would depend how much they would charge me, but even at that, looking at other prices, I bet you they'll charge me about between $8 and $10. So I'll put it in the basket, but um, it's a maybe. It's a, it's a big maybe. Okay, so we got lamps at the bottom, at the bottom, at the end there. I looked and there's nothing really um, here. Really, really like this. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, there's minimal crazing, but it's very, very nice. The only thing is, that's only the creamer. And I'll keep an eye for the sugar because if I can find it, I think I will pick this up. It's $2.99, which is quite reasonably uh, priced. If I get um, at Salvation Army, I only get 10% discount for seniors. But, you know, 10% is better than nothing. And then what else did I see when I... Ah, right here. I saw this is with... Um, could be... You know, a religious item could be just keepsake, uh, could be for First Communion, but oh, wait, nope. I was all excited. ESD, Japan, but now I'm looking at it. There's huge repair, which wasn't done properly, so it will stay behind. And this is obviously um, studio pottery or uh, hobbyist project. I just like the way that it's been done. There is a signature which, hmm, Eve, oh, here we go, Eve made that. So it could, it could even be like a, a, a child that made it, but I think it is fantastic. It's a candle holder, I would think. Um, I think I'm going to pick this up just because it's original and it's unusual. And I like that. Okay, there's pots and pans. Nothing uh, that strikes my fancy. I spotted this nice uh, milk glass hobnail vase in very nice condition. However, they, they do want $10 for it, which um, would be a little bit above what I'm willing to pay for resale. I also spotted this bottle. Very eclectic, very different. Has um, what seems to be straw accents and some gold string, and the lid is also just made of straw. Very interesting. It says made in Spain. They want six ninety nine. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. $6.99 and then, you know, probably would sell around $15 or $16. So I don't think uh, that it's going to be uh, profitable enough for me. So I will leave this behind, although I love it. <laughs> What's this? To the world, you are just one person. To your dog, you are the world. Oh. That's oh, cute. One ninety nine. I don't know. I did pick up mugs recently. They usually sell well during Christmas time, but otherwise, unless I get them at ninety nine cents admission, I tend to leave them behind unless they're really, really good ones. There's a fake little cactus here. 
I saw this, but there's an awful lot of chipping, so we're going to leave that there. This fooled me. I thought it was ceramic. It is melamine, so that's going to stay there. I don't think that's uh, something that I could go for. Uh, this is an vintage one. Oh, it's all crooked. We'll leave that there too. It's a nice basket. Hmm. It a little wonky. Made in the Philippines. Okay. It's a Wilton cake tip organizer. Hmm, no price on it. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. The Biamo Japan. Hmm. Let's do a, a oh, there's a whole bunch there. With, oh, yeah. Lots of repairs. I don't know if these still are hot enough, I should say, to make it worthwhile. How much? Sorry, how much? How much? How much? Doesn't say. Hello. <laughs> Price tags have been removed. There we. Hmm. I'll check that out for the fun of it. Yes, so they are um, Hummel and they are collectible, but I had a partnership with someone recently and he had an, an awful lot of Hummel figurines to um, to sell, which I tried to sell, but somehow it doesn't move. So I'm going to pass on those. Might be a mistake, you tell me. What else? Is there anything that's... Hmm. Let's see this. No. Okay. I like this bowl here. I just like the look of it and the colors, but it is stoked. So very, very much modern. I just had to show this microfibers, uh, mopping slippers. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so I spotted these nice coasters, which are alabaster. And it does have a label here that says Genoan alabaster hand carved in Italy. Very interesting. It does a little bit of changes in the uh, tones of the greens, but because of this heavy chipping and $6.99, um, I'm going to pass. I was thinking maybe. I could sell them without the stand because um, they are well yeah there's a little roughness there so just for the price alone I'm gonna pass those up now uh, empty box <laughs> funny thing I have a whole bunch of those um, that were for sale for Christmas time and I think this is the one that I had that was had a broken leg so <laughs> I saw the box, I thought, okay, I'll buy him and replace, but the box is empty. So that's a no-go. So only picked up five things, but that nice um, uh, glass candy dish, depressed glass candy dish, uh, ended up having it for $3.99. And pleasantly surprised so looking at comps you know so I took it uh, very very happy about that little blue um, dog planter that's another uh, cute little find and those two Libby's uh, glasses so all in all not bad the spent 1409 so now it's time to go home and see how much I paid individually <laughs> you
did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of my weekly video, I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. And until I see you next week, be safe, everyone. À la prochaine, tout le monde.